Marsh PC Wabash. And what I have here is my 4,300 digital inverter. It was running fine the other day and then all of a sudden stopped putting out power and started running rough. So I contacted the champion, they was cool, and they sent me a control panel, even though my generator's out of warranty, they cut me a little slack on the price. But while I was in here, this has been the uh, valve cover gas, it's been leaking for a little while, so I went ahead and ordered two of them for a future replacement. So the first thing we did, we pulled the gasket off, and it was cracked up pretty good, actually had a hole in a couple places on the older one it had a big hole right here and up here so and then this started deteriorating down at the bottom so that's why we had to fix it so I said while I'm out here I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the valves because I've run this quite a bit okay well, we're going to do the exhaust valve first. This is the closest one to the exhaust, and then the intake is closest to the carburetor. So, the first thing we got to do is loosen this 10 millimeter bolt up, which is the, the, the nut, which is the locking nut. So we're going to go ahead and get that loose. I got my screwdriver down here. So we're going to get our feeler gauges and the spec is 0 .005 inches or 13 mm's. Alright. We got, we pull it on the handle. Got the intake closest to the carburetor fully down. So that's locked. Now our exhaust, which is right here, is open. Behind the valve and tighten this down till it touches the feel gauge. You want it tight but not so tight you can't move it. A little slack. So we are there right there. Yeah, I've finger tightened that lock nut. Still good. A little slack. And then we're gonna lock that lock nut down and check it again. And we are still good. So I gotta pull on the cord over there which is hard to get to because it's a uh, not a straight out pull which would be easy it's kind of funky little pull and I gotta watch this side while I'm trying to pull that side the object of the game is get this to lock back down see how them valves start moving now they're at one position now we are gonna they're kind of even with each other now the intake or the out the ex there we go exhaust just went down this is up and that should be fully down right there and we got a little play right there which is good I might have to go back and adjust up all these different numbers I'm not a mechanic let's go back and start that over I went back to the exhaust uh, which is a little loose the, the intake size fully down what I did I misread my numbers the exhaust side is point zero seven to point zero nine so zero seven inches is the top number 18 mm is the bottom number so stick this field gauge back in here and it does not fit so what we had to do is Start this process over again. Loosen up that lock nut. Loosen up the little valve here. Get this feel gauge back in on the correct one. Point zero zero seven. Completely on the on the. There was no plate at all. It was locked up, but not yeah but anyways whatever I'm talking about it was no feel of gauge room at all they was right jammed on top of each other now we're going to go back over to the intake side which is a point zero zero five so let me find that one again
That should be fully down right there. Because this side loosened up some. And this side is tight. So let's see what this side brings us. It says 0 0.005. Will we even have to adjust it? And it's a little loose. So we're going to give ahead and give that a little adjustment too. Okay, so we got our point. 005 which is the correct one get in here where our valve is turn this till it touches but not lock it down that should be good right there so now my valves are not so tight they can't move so that's good now we got our cleaned up valve cover our brand new gasket which has a little rim down inside here that sits in this little outside rim so you, and then you want this part against the machine the nice silent side and all this kind of go has its own little everything fits in here it's got little grooves that go in this groove outside sits down in here so you just put it on there make sure everything's lined up work your gasket around there slowly because you don't want to be rough with it because it is a pretty tender gasket but now you see how it sits right down in its groove all the way around so that's good all these are the steel bolts because they're magnetic going into an aluminum housing so you don't want to get on here and rip your you know, get on here and romp down on something. So we're gonna go ahead and do it in a diamond pattern, like a like you would a tie. I just made contact over there. Contact right there. Now you can see I only got two fingers on this screwdriver. I ain't gripping it. That's pretty good and it feels nice and snug. This thing hopefully running again. Right now it's timeout time. I gotta go hang some laundry. I'll be back.